Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I hope you're having a good day. Um, so we're on our third day of adding and subtracting integers. Now the first day, not too bad. We looked at our integer model and we looked at integers with the same sign, like two positives and two negatives. Now, we discovered that when two integers have the same sign, I add them. Okay, not too bad. And then the second day, we looked at integers that have a different sign, like a negative, positive, positive, negative. And we discovered when I have that situation, I subtract them. Now look at every situation that we looked at so far. Um, there was always a plus sign as the first sign between the two integers. So this one, it's always a plus, right? There was a plus. Um, and then in some cases, there was only one sign in between the two integers, right? Um, like in this one here, there was only a plus sign between the two integers. And this one, the first sign was always a plus. So when that first sign was always a plus, um, or if there was only one sign in between the two integers, then things were pretty easy. Um, so today what we're going to look like, look at is subtracting integers. We're going to look at what happens when the first sign between the two integers is a minus sign. And, and this causes things to become a little bit more tricky. So we're going to focus on situations now where we're subtracting integers and the first sign between the two integers is a minus sign. So we're going to do these in groups of three and we're going to model it out and hopefully discover a pattern. Now, the key thing to remember when subtracting integers or when you have the first sign between the two integers as a minus sign is we can always do something called adding the opposite. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're still going to have our integer model shaded positive, unshaded negative. Now, let's um, start with this integer model and look at a situation where the first sign between the two integers is a minus, and we have two minus signs together in the middle. So a situation like this. Now here's how we're going to model this out. We're going to say, okay, three positives I can do. Doink, doink, doink. And we're going to take away three negatives. Now here's the problem. If I do this, doink, 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 I haven't taken away three negatives. I've added three negatives. The way I can fix that is using zero pairs. If I did this with each negative I added, what I technically have right here is zero. But now I have the ability to take away three negatives. So I'm going to take away those three negatives. Like it says to do. Doink, doink, doink. Now look what happens when I've actually done this. When I've actually done this, when I take away three negatives, if I follow what I've modeled out now, I've actually got positive three and positive three. So when I take away a negative, what happens is I actually have added a positive. Or to relate it to what we did last time, when I'm taking away a negative, I can actually think of it as keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. I can actually keep the first integer the same, flip that first minus sign to plus, and change the negative to a positive. So whenever I am subtracting two integers, and the first sign between them is that minus sign, I can do keep, change, flip change the minus to plus, flip negative three to positive three. And what I end up getting is three plus three, and that equals six. So keeping that same idea here, notice how I have the minus minus, or negative negative. Well, I can think of that as keep change flip and do four, change the first negative to plus, and the second negative to positive six. And that's four plus six is 10. Applying that same idea to larger numbers, whenever I have this minus minus in the middle, think of it as 974, 
change minus 2 plus, flip negative 146 to positive 146. And for this one, I'll actually have to add them up in columns. 4 plus 6 is 10. That's 12. And that's 11. Positive 1,120. So when you see this situation, think add the opposite. Think positive 3 plus 3. Okay, now let's look at more examples of this situation. I'll do another set of similar examples here. Number four, negative one, take away negative four. So if you see the first between the two integers, a minus sign first, and there's two signs like that, you're gonna have this add the opposite situation. When the first sign is a minus and you have two signs like that, you know you're gonna have to add the opposite. So let's model this first one out. If I was to model out negative one, I'd do that. And then it says, take away negative four. Well, I don't even have four negatives to take away. So my first inclination is to put four negatives on there, but then I've added four negatives. I haven't subtracted them. So the way I can make four negatives appear is by having four positives with them and making zero pairs. So the question I actually have now that I have those zero pairs, I have negative one and I can now take away four negatives, but I haven't actually put negative four on the screen, right? I've put zero, but now I can do what the question says. I can take away four negatives. I'll make that a bit smaller. Take this away, take that away, take that away, take that away. And the question I actually have now is a question like we would have gotten yesterday. The question I actually have is negative one plus four, right? Negative one plus four, now they're separated by a plus sign. And now I can just do this. I can do take away the zero pairs and I'm left with positive three. Or we've also learned that if two integers have different signs, I subtract them and use whatever I have more of. I have more positives, so the answer is positive. Okay, so the trick is to, if you have two integers and you have them separated by a minus sign and there's two signs in between them like this, you're going to add the opposite. So this one here, I would think of this as negative 6 positive 10. Keep change flip, right? Keep the first integer the same. Change the negative to positive. Flip negative 10 to positive 10. And then once I have this here, think of yesterday's work, okay? Six negatives, 10 positives. The signs are different. I'm going to subtract them. And since I have more positives, the answer is positive four. We have to be able to do that when we get to bigger numbers, right? So look at this situation here, minus, minus. Think of it as negative 185 plus 149, or negative 185, positive 149. Negative 185, positive 149. The signs are different this time. So I'm going to subtract. I'll borrow from the 8, make it 7. This will become 15 take away 9 is 6. 7 take away 4 is 3. And since I have more negatives than positives, the answer will be negative 36. So whenever you see these minus minus situations, you've got to add the opposite. And that adding the opposite applies to any situation where that first sign in between the two integers is a minus and you have two signs. So it also applies to minus plus. Okay, just to model this one out to see what it looks like. If I had two negatives, negatives. 
and I want to take away three positives. Well, I don't even have three positives I can take away. And if I do this, I haven't taken away three positives. I've added three positives. So the way to fix that is with zero pairs. Now I have three positives on the screen, but I haven't actually added on three positives. I've added on zero because all of this equals zero. Now I can take away, do what the question says. I can take away three positives. Doink, doink, doink. And what the question I'm actually left with here is negative two and negative three. And the keep change flip idea still applies. Um, two negatives, keep the negative two the same, change the, that first negative to a plus and flip positive three to negative three. And then I apply my rules. I'm left with negative five. So whenever you have two integers and that first sign between them is a negative and you have two signs there, if that first sign is a negative, you're always going to do keep change flip or add the opposite. So on this one, I would do negative three plus negative four. And then I'm left with a question from the previous two days. The signs are the same. So I add them and I use the negative. And we apply that to larger numbers. Okay, so once again, this isn't a larger number, but... Um, if I'm starting with a minus sign in between those two integers and I have a minus minus or a minus plus, I'm going to do keep, change, flip. Now in this one, I have positive 7, I have negative 8. The signs are different, so I'll subtract them. And since I have more negatives, the answer will be negative. Okay, and same thing down here. Whenever I have the minus, minus, or the minus, plus, minus, plus, okay, think of it as keep, change, flip. Okay, keep the first integer the same, change that minus to plus, and flip positive 2 to negative 2. And then you're left with four positives, two negatives. The signs are different, so I subtract and since I have more positives than negatives, the answer is positive. So you only do add the opposite when you have minus minus or minus plus. Okay, this guy right here, I have minus plus. So I'll do keep, change, flip. Now I have two integers. With different signs, I have positive 15, I have negative 10, so they're different, so I'll subtract, and I'm left with positive 5. Okay, larger numbers here, I have a minus plus situation, so I'll do keep, change, flip. And since the signs are different, I'm going to have to subtract. These are too big for me to subtract in my head. So I'll do paper and pencil. 8 is smaller than 9, so I'll borrow from the 6 and make it 5. This becomes 18 minus 9 is 9. 5 minus 5 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. And in this situation here, I have more positives than negatives. So it's going to be positive 209. So when do you want to do add the opposite? You want to do add the opposite when you have minus minus or when you have minus plus. Okay, that's the only time you do add the opposite. So throwing a little wrench in the situation here. So the assignment I'm going to give you today is going to have signs that are the same, signs that are different, and it's going to have this add the opposite situation. So you have to be on the lookout for a lot of things now. Okay, we'll practice this some day today. There'll be some mistakes, and that's okay. That's all for now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.